Can you guess what today is? Can you just guess what today is, you guys? Hey, y'all. It's Allie from Little Hill Homestead. And today is our first day of our body care series. Still don't know what I'm calling it. <laughs> It'll evolve as we go, I'm assuming. But today is one of the recipes that I am the most excited to show you. So I thought, why not get it going with a bang? Today is going to be our pits and bits. This is our natural deodorant um, that you can use in your pits or anywhere else. It's an all over body deodorant. It contains all natural ingredients. It is baking soda free because I, I can't use baking soda and I know a lot of people have a sensitivity to baking soda if they put it in their pits. So it causes rashes and stinging and stuff like that. And so take it out, take it out. Why use it then? So today, I'm going to show you guys how we make our pits and bits. I will say, typically I make a double batch of this um, just because I have a big container that I put it in and it lasts a while so they don't have to do it as often. So today I'm going to be taking it and making the normal version for you guys because I don't want to throw you off and make a weird batch. But let me show you what I got. I have a container. This is the container I usually keep mine in. I got it at a thrift store. I'm pretty sure it's from like the 19-somethings. Um, I just keep it in a glass jar with a lid and you can either use a clean finger to scrape some out or sometimes i'll use a popsicle stick i have a box of popsicle sticks that i use for marking my plants if you want to use that instead or like the end of like not a tweezer but something you know like a metal tool you can use that as well i just use my fingers because they're clean um here we go you ready for pits and bits pits and bits y'all let's go <laughs> So I have a copper pan. I got it at a thrift store a million years ago. I use it for body care stuff. It's my pan that I go, go to for this kind of stuff. Um, we have to heat this up. Of course, I had oil on the bottom of it for some reason. We have to heat this up because we're using um, some shea butter. We're using coconut oil. We're using some stuff that we need, our beeswax, which I don't know where I put. Hold up. Where's my beeswax? It's none of your beeswax. Where did I put it? All right, well, I'll have to find that. I brought it in here. It's probably right in front of my face. Y'all, my kitchen. Oh, it's <laughs> literally right here, you guys. My kitchen's not that big. I should not lose things. Okay, but are you guys ready? So we're doing this in a pan so that you can melt it all together, give it a good stir, and then you put it into a glass container, and it will re-solidify from there. Here we go. So the first ingredient you need is shea butter. You guys know that I'm a fan of shea butter. I have eczema and this stuff is like awesome for people with eczema. So you need two tablespoons. By the way, this is a two tablespoon measuring um, thing. It's called the odd ones. They're odd measuring spoons from Allclad. I got them for Christmas a couple years ago and I kind of dig them, they're fun. So we have two tablespoons of that going into our pan. I have my pan on high just to get it going, but it doesn't need to be that hot. Okay, seriously. I did wash my hands, by the way, and excuse my washing machine. It's running. I'm trying to get some laundry going. I'm having a work day today um, to try to get a bunch of these recipes popped out for you. And um, I said I was going to do it last week, and I just never got to it. So there you go. Okay, let me get – well, I don't need to wash it off. I can just put it on there. The next thing you need is two tablespoons of the beeswax pellet or beeswax, whatever you guys use. We use this one. I get it from Amazon. I've literally had this bag for years. I will try to see if it's still available and link it below. But any pelletized beeswax is what you're needing. This is what it looks like. There's little pellets. This just helps it kind of go back together. If you have an allergy to beeswax or you're a person that, um, if you're vegan and you don't use bees products, bees products, bee products, you can use um, anything that's a substitute for it and get the same result. So we got two tablespoons of those going in with our shea butter. This is already starting to melt, which is delicious. It's delicious, y'all. What is she talking about? Okay. Let me move this off the top of my counter stove so this doesn't melt. The next thing we need is four tablespoons. You have an option here. You can use coconut oil. We get ours from uh, Azure Standard because you get these cool glass jars. And yeah, the bigger you go, the better the jar is. Or you can use fractionated uh, coconut oil. You guys kept telling me about this. I finally got some. It, you can use it in this recipe and it works. I like to have something that solidifies back up, so I use this one. You need four tablespoons of that. I keep using the same one. I know I'm using the same one, you guys. I'm getting everything out of it though. Cross-contamination. I probably should use a spoon. Let me get a spoon since I do use this for food. 
Whoop. Of course, there's no spoons in here. Why would there be a spoon? Why would there be a spoon in our cutlery drawer? All right. So we need four tablespoons. This is a tablespoon, right? Yeah, that's a two tablespoon. Just making sure I'm not already screwing this up. I'm going to turn my heat off because it's warm enough to keep it melting now. We have an old stove. She stays real hot. Her name is Pearl. I know a lot of you guys are newer to the channel. And this is Pearl. She's from the 19, we believe, 30s. We can't get a lot of information on her because the company that made her um, stopped making stoves. They only did a very small handful of these kind. And some of them were actually used in um, RVs, like little campers a long time ago. So can't get a lot of information on her, but we, we'd love her sometimes. Sometimes she's a pain in my butt. There you go. Old stoves can be really finicky. That's all. <laughs> okay. Let me give this a little swirl. Get that coconut and everything melting together. Okay, the next thing you need is one and a half tablespoons, and you have an option here. You can use zinc oxide, which is like the active ingredient in sunscreen. Or if you are a homesteader, you probably have this lying around. I keep it, <laughs> keep it in a big bag um, because the bag that it originally came in busted. But it is food grade diatomaceous earth. Boom. Um, you can get it kind of anywhere. They have it lots of places. I get mine on Amazon. That's just because my tractor supply always seems to be out of it. So I use the diatomaceous earth. That's just my personal preference. If you'd rather use the zinc oxide, go for it. So now I'm going to start stirring. I am using just a silicone spatula. I'm going to move this off the heat only because we don't need all that heat going on anymore. Okay. After that, we need a fourth a cup of either arrowroot. Are you guys proud of me? I'm using my arrowroot. I get mine from Azure Standard. It's reasonably priced and it comes in this cool bag that's lined with plastic. I need to put it into a jar, but haven't done it yet. You can use um, cornstarch as well if you prefer. Use what you've got, you guys. That's my whole thing. Okay, I'm going to get that all stirred in. You need 10 drops. You have a couple of choices of the oil. This is like just a conditioning oil. You can use castor oil, vitamin E, or jojoba. It's kind of uh, whatever you want to use. So I have a couple over here. I'm going to use I'm going to use jojoba today. We got one and a half tea. This is a half a tea. Oh, <laughs> Oop. is it a half a teaspoon? It's one and a half teaspoons. No, it's a half a teaspoon. My bad, you guys. It's a half a teaspoon. It was one and a half teaspoons of something else. Half a teaspoon of that conditioning oil. And then for the bacteria, this helps cut some of the stank. Um, this is tea tree oil. Um, it has a lot of beneficial properties in it. I'm just continuing to stir this as I add stuff, by the way. Um, this helps. It's got an antiseptic property in it. It helps cut the stink. It'll cut down the BO type of a smell. And um, four, five, six, we'll do six. Um, Plus, it's got a little bit of a scent to it already. Okay. Here's where we can have some fun if you want. You ready? By the way, look at this. Okay, hold on. I'm going to turn you guys really quick. I was telling you guys I didn't have a way to store my essential oils. I found a nail polish holder. This was like eight bucks. It's bomb. And I alphabetized them because, you know, I'm kind of anal about weird stuff like that. But I'm loving that idea. So whoever gave me that idea is really good. Um, so you can do essential oils. It's kind of, uh, let's see, how much do you add? 30 drops, whatever you want. Um, so I'm doing sweet orange, peppermint, and vanilla. That sounded good to me, but some of the combinations we have done before are sandalwood and lang lang, jasmine, sandalwood, magnolia. The combination we're doing today, lavender, vanilla, sandalwood, bergamot, and lavender, rosemary, citrus, Bergamot and lime is a really good one in the summertime. Pine um, and spice is kind of masculine. We've got eucalyptus mint, which you can use any kind of peppermint or anything like that. Um, we have grapefruit and bergamot, which is like one of my tried and trues. And then jasmine and cedar. It's kind of like this like unexpected, like florally, not florally combo that's bomb. So today I'm doing this combo because that's what I felt like doing. So I'm doing some... You know me, I really like citrusy smells. Um, I, that's what I tend to lean towards. 
a lot of you guys keep asking me if I want a beachy smell, what do I do? I'm telling you right now, get yourself a bottle of sandalwood. It's not straight up like beach, but it has like a sunscreeny property to it that's enjoyable. So that's helpful, right? Like I was saying in one of my other videos, a lot of the smells you guys are used to are made with man-made stuff instead of natural stuff. And so you can't always get an exact dupe using essential oils as you would to the man-made stuff. So somebody asked, can you use fragrance oils? I leave that to you. I choose not to. I like to use full essential oils, but you do you, right? As we always say, let's be real, y'all. You do you. Okay, I keep mine in this jar. Like I said, I usually make a larger batch of this, but all you're going to do is... I've been stirring this the whole time. I don't know if you can see it. No. It's kind of changed consistency. It's a liquid at this point, though. But all of my ingredients are mixed in. All of my powders are mixed in. And I'm just going to pour this straight into my jar. I'll probably go back off camera and do a second batch to fill my jar. I like to be able to reach it. And once it gets farther towards the bottom, it's harder for your hand to reach. So this is something that I'm going to tell you guys right now. Pick something that you can get into. Don't pick a jar with a really narrow neck because you can, it's really hard to get your fingers in there if that's the way you choose it. But that is our bits and bits. I'm going to go stick this in a cool place and then I will come back once it's solidified. The smell on it is lovely. It's not overwhelming, but you can smell the orange and the vanilla and it, it'll be nice and subtle. <laughs> Here you go, you guys. When you're sweaty and you stink, you're gonna smell delicious with this kind of stuff. But um, Everything that's in it has a purpose. Some of the things are optional. Some of them you can swap out for different ingredients, but everything in it is to help kill the bacteria that creates BO, basically. It's also got stuff in it that's gonna help you stay a little bit drier, um, but it's you're still gonna sweat. Your body needs to sweat. It's just a matter of covering up some of that smell that it has. Um, what I love about it, here's your TMIs. If you've got, crevasses, <laughs> which we all do, um, that maybe get a little smelly. Like we go camping a lot. And so sometimes I will use this like on your leg pits or uh, other armpits or under places. And it just kind of cuts some of the smell that some people are worried about. It's not to take the place of showering, you guys. <laughs> but um, I will come back in a few minutes and I'll show you actually like the consistency of it once it cools and kind of show you I'm not going to show you myself using it because that would require me shaving. <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be real, y'all. Um, summer's almost over. And so that means that you just stop. Am I wrong? <laughs> just kidding. I actually don't. I'm just saying. It's just more days between, right? <laughs> Let's be real. Anyways, I'm going to go stick this in a cool place till it solidifies. And then I will be back to show you where we are. All right. Be right back. Hey, y'all. We're back. Our pits and bits <laughs> got a hole in it. I don't know what happened there. Um, our pits and bits is solidified. Do you see this? I did make a, I added more to make myself a double batch because um, I get too busy sometimes to sit here and make homemade stuff all day long. So sometimes I do it in double batches or whatever so that I can save time later. I meant to tell you earlier, this is the container I use. I got it at a thrift store. Um, you can get little amber jars at most like herb shops or Amazon or whatever. The other thing I have seen, and I looked everywhere to buy one of these and I couldn't find it is there is a yogurt, I have no idea how you say it. It's O-U-I, is how you say it? Is it we? <laughs> Oi, we? Oi. Anyways, they sell the cutest wooden lids for those yogurt containers. And so I thought about, so if you are on Facebook, there's for most cities, like a Facebook free group that you can join. So I thought about asking on there to see like, hey, if you use this yogurt that I can't pronounce, can I have the jars? I'm just looking for jars. And then I was going to buy the lids. It's $6 for the little lids. And I thought that for a gift would be super duper cute because the jars are this kind of like aesthetically pleasing shape with a cute little wooden lid. Boom. But guess what I didn't do? I didn't do it. Um, so I have this container and um, it's just what it is. But that's what it looks like. I don't know why I got a hole in the middle. I did put it in the fridge, which I don't normally do. <laughs> so um, I, I was trying to speed it along. Anyways, that's our consistency. Can you guys see it? It is like thicker. 
it just smells like orangey. It's beautiful. Because it has coconut oil in it, um, it is, oh shoot, I forgot. Hold on. Where did I put it? Did I write it down? Uh, I wrote it down for you guys. Did I bring it in here is my question. I think I left it on my desk. I wrote down, no, I'll go grab it. Yeah, I'll go grab it. Anyways, let me show you how this works and then I'll go grab the piece of paper I'm talking about and do a second part. It's all the benefits of each of the items that are in this said body pits and bits deodorant, body deodorant. So all I do is I scrape some on my finger. My hands were clean. I often look over here for some reason and I forget that I have to look here. It doesn't, iPhones don't make it so that you know where to look very easily. So if you look here, it looks much more natural. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. Anyways, I take it on my finger and then all you do is um, rub it into the spots. It has coconut oil in it. It's going to absorb into your skin. It also has shea butter, which is going to absorb into your skin. Mm. And then it's just um, going to absorb in. It's got a lot of antibacterial properties, which is great for body odors. Um, but it's got, let me go get the list. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. So. As you can see, it's kind of kind of oily um, as you put it in on. A little goes a long way. Just keep rubbing it. Rub it, y'all. Put it in your spots. Put it in your crevasses, your crevices. Put it in your pits. Use it almost kind of like a lotion, per se. Um, but it leaves, oh, God, it smells good, you guys. Um, this is what it has. Are you ready for it? You ready? Diatomaceous earth was in it. Um, it's a natural deodorizer. It also detoxifies your body, which for your armpits, awesome. Arrowroot, that absorbs wetness, which we all need, right? Um, coconut oil is an antimicrobial. It's going to help with stink. Tea tree oil is antibacterial, and it also treats skin infections. So if you're a female who shaves your armpits, this is going to help calm that down if you get any kind of rash. Sorry, I took a big old sip of Mountain Dew between the- Hey y'all. Uh, so I realized that my microphone cut out as I was editing my video and I'm in the middle of making another one. So um, guess what's coming up soon? If you can't guess, um, wow. Uh, <laughs> so um, all I was saying was, I think I got through tea tree oil as being an antibacterial and it treats skin infections. And you could hear that. Um, it also contains jojoba oil, which is an anti-inflammatory and an antibacterial, bacterial, whatever the word is. Um, the last thing it's got is shea butter, which softens your skin. It's an antibacterial and an antifungal. And so um, these are all of the good things that the deodorant can do, basically, um, that was all I was jumping into. And there was like a four minute rant at the end about Diet Mountain Dew, because you guys know I love me some Diet Mountain Dew, but there was no sound. So I figured I better jump on here, even though I've moved on to my next video and um, tell you with actual words. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Anyways, if you have not subscribed to our channel already, this is the first day of what will end up probably be pro this is getting dry, so it's making it hard for my mouth to move. Um, I think we're gonna end up with about 20, maybe a few more than 20 videos that are all gonna be skincare or body care related. So go ahead and hit subscribe if you have not already. And I probably said something along the lines of if you already make your own natural deodorant. I'd love to hear about it. We're always willing to try new recipes. Just because this is the one that we make is not does not mean it's the best one, but we really darn like it. So, um, and the smell this time, oh, so, so good. Um, at this point, we've actually used it for a few days because that's what we do around here. We just keep moving. Keep on trucking, y'all. Anyways, thanks for watching Little Hill Homestead and um, go have a fantastic day. All right, thanks for watching.